So my entry into the Warbird world, specifically B-25, started with a birthday present from my mother for my 50th birthday. She bought me a flight experience ride on a local B-25 that went to Mackinac Island and back as a color tour, one long flight. And my dad was a navigator on B-25s during World War II in the Southwest Pacific for the 5th Air Force. So it had always been part of our family history. He used to tell me stories of his experiences. One thing led to another and I volunteered to work on that airplane and started working with those people and they graciously shared their information, their knowledge and their technical skills with me. And that led to me becoming more and more involved in the Warbirds and specifically the B-25 operations with that airplane and going to trips out to air shows, which is really the reward of the whole thing is going to an air show when you meet the people and you get to share the history with them and you see the emotional connections. That's really the best part of the volunteer experience is the actual connection with the people who may have flown the airplane, who may remember something in the misty past that suddenly comes to the forefront because they see the airplane. Watching families discover things that they never knew about their ancestors. It's all a very touching experience and by far is the most rewarding part of being a volunteer. There are lots of rewards to being a volunteer, the skills you learn, the people you work with of a like mind and so on, but the most rewarding thing is on the ramp. Like the people before me that shared their skills and knowledge with me, I want to share that knowledge and pass it on to the next group of people that will carry forth in, in restoring and operating these aircraft. That experience, the knowledge, the skills that it takes to do this need to be passed on to the next generation. Like the people that passed it on to me, you do it in a hands-on environment. You learn together, you show somebody how to do it. It's very much a skill that's acquired by doing it, not by reading about it. And there are skills and knowledge that the older generation has passed on to us that is not documented anywhere. It's just part of what you need to know to be better at what you do. You can always learn some of it in the book, but the real refinement comes from actually doing it with your hands and learning from someone else.